in front of me i have a 43 inch tv so the tv brand is falcon so this tv uh, the problem is when turn on the tv the backlight turn on but no picture so this tv is using uh, this panel is st4251 do1 dash 3 dash xl dash 2 xl for the left and the right side is uh, similar but here is not xl is xr so st4251 d zero one dash three dash xr so this is right and this is the left side so i see in youtube there are several brands using this panel like uh, xiaomi and panasonic is also using this panel so this tv is a falcon and it's using the same panel the difference is uh, some TV they have a T-con here so from the main board it goes to the T-con and go to the panel but for this TV the T-con is uh, inside the main board so this is the uh, AIO so power board, main board, T-con everything is here so here just have a left and right so for this tv uh, as usual i i released the uh, lvds when i released the lvds one side so i checked another side the one connected uh, i checked the screen so when i release this side and check this side there's no picture then i connect here and release here when i release here and connect here the picture comes out on this side means the panel on this side is good i can see half picture here so here is no picture but when this lvds is connected the whole screen the picture will be gone so from here i know the problem is on this side so usually the problem will be on the gate line but uh, as a procedure I check all the capacitor there are several capacitor here and the capacitor got uh, no none of the capacitor is shorted so for this TV I come to this side so here there's a legend here there's a LC1 LC2 and then there's a CK1 up to CK7 so this legend is referring to the point here so I check the resistance uh, I put the multimeter in resistance mode and put one probe on CK8 and then the other probe I move to other point then the one probe I move to CK from CK8 to CK7 and then another probe I move to other I check resistance for all the clock line but by checking resistance uh, all the resistance is high I cannot find any problem here so uh, so I, I do some checking by using multimeter in a continuity mode so I put one probe here on CK8 and then another probe I come to here so I check uh, I just count from here as one because here there's a 60 line so I check one by one from here one two three four I count so I come up with this list here so it's Falcon 43 inch so the CK8 or CKV8 is connected to pin number 6 pin number 6 so I count from the left side so 1 2 3 4 5 6 up to number 6 here so by using this method I check 
the clock line like this one like CK8 connect to 6 then CK7 okay CK7 connect to number 7 and then the CK8 to 1 is connected like 6 up to 13 and then the LC1 LC2 is connected to pin 3 and 4 so uh, for this TV uh, uh, the first step is I close the by using the masking tape like here this side is connected with this side here so here I am using a masking tape so by using the masking tape uh, first I try close uh, the clock line only so from 6 to 13 6 to 13 is CK8 up to CK1 so I try uh, the first I try that one when I try closing the clock line only the picture comes up uh, but there's uh, some line is there that picture comes up and then when I turn off TV and turn on again the picture doesn't come up anymore it just come up for one or two time and after that when I turn on off the TV the picture gone already so I see in YouTube um, some people they for this panel for this uh, panel model uh, some people they suggest to close pin 1 to 14 which is from the corner here left here 1 up to 14 so I'm not sure 1 to 14 is covering beside clock and LC1, LC2 um, is covering some other signal also so I, I try this way 1 to 14 so here I'm using my skin tape I close 1 to 14 and after close uh, the picture is good uh, like previously when I close the clock signal the picture comes out but I have some line by closing 1 to 14 the picture is good it's uh, better than before and I test on off few time and there's a uh, no sign of problem so now uh, this one already I put the tape I test on off few time and the picture is stable so I will turn on the TV so now the Bella is turning on So the display is coming up. It's a falcon. So the display is good. There's a no line. There's no sign of anything shaking. So for this TV, after closing those fourteen line, it seems good.